Hello guys, sometimes in digital forensics or in cyber crime investigation, we find such evidence like uh, mobile phone, computers, pen drives, external drives, memory cards, and we need to create their image files to find out what's inside that drive by analyzing the created image on different labs to collect evidence. So today I'm going to tell you about a free utility through which you can create a forensic image of a memory card, pen drive or hard drive easily. So before starting, if you are new, so like here and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos. So let's start. So the utility name is DD, which is installed in Kali Linux, Mac OS and Ubuntu by default. And you can use this utility in Windows as well. Using this utility, you can copy files and you can create a forensic image image of a whole pen drive and partition image as well so let me show you how you can create a forensic image of any pen drive using dd command so for that i am going to use Kali linux this utility is pre-installed in Kali linux so you can directly use it so i have connected in 32 gigabytes of pen drive with my machine if you want to check how much devices are connected in your machine and to check the partition of these devices we will use the command f this hyphen l and as you can see now we have all the information of uh, devices that are connected uh, here but as you can see at the bottom we have uh, the device sda sdb1 this device is basically my pen drive and the size of this device is 29.3 uh, gigabytes so uh, uh, up here you can also check my uh, devices on which my uh, linux is installed and all this uh, type is uh, available here and you can check out all the information you can also use the df command to uh, check your devices so now as you can see here uh, again we have the list of devices that are connected to my system so as you can see here at the bottom we have our pen drive 30 gigabytes of pen drive and the used size is 65 mb and the available size is 30 gigabytes and the mount uh, where it is mounted is also available in the description so now i will create a forensic image of my pen drive using dd command so if you want to know about uh, dd command that what are the options of this utility and what that options can do so to do it uh, we are going to use the command dd double hyphen help and press enter here you can see that help of this utility is open and you can uh, figure out all the options from here so now let's create forensic image of our pen drive so first of all check your uh, drive's name as i have said before you can check it with the f disk or with df command so i'm going to use df command and as you can see here we have uh, the pen drive name which is a uh, dev sdv1 so simply copy this uh, because we are going to use it in our dd command now after this we are going to use the command first of all clear up the screen and now we are going to use the command ddif is equals to and paste your uh, path which you have copied so after that you are going to use the of is equals to uh, where you want to save your file so we, uh, we are on the desktop so we are going to save the file over here so i am going to give the name fk.img after that you can set the options according to your uh, need so i'm going to set a block size which is bs is equals to 1k and after that let's say if there is a bad sector in this file or any other error and you don't want that during image creation the process stop so you can use the option conv is equals to no error and after that uh, comma and you're going to use the flag sync which is means synchronize so this option uh, will not allow the process to stop now if you want to see the progress of your image creation you can use an option which is status is equals to progress and now we are ready to create an image file of our device so simply press enter here we have messed up because the spelling of status is wrong so just correct your spelling first of all and we are going to correct the spelling and press enter so it will start creating an image and as you can see on the desktop our uh, file has been created and now it is uh, copying all the files uh, that are available in our pen drive so it will take time because if you have a low memory pen drive it will uh, be faster and if you have a large memory pen drive it will take a lot of time so guys now as you can see our uh, image file has been created on the desktop 
now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to verify that the image file that is created is uh, in the right format or not so to do that we will find the checksum of this file you can use any method i'm going to use md5 sum so now i will store the hashes of uh, image file into a uh, text file on the desktop so i'm going to use the command md5 sum and after that i'm going to uh, write here my image file path so i'm going to type here fk.img and after that i'm going to uh, type here greater than and after that i'm going to give the text file name in which i'm going to save my hashes so i'm going to type here hash dot txt so press enter so it will uh, enter all the hashes into uh, the text file now guys as you can see our image file hashes has been saved into the uh, hash.txt file now we are going to copy the hashes of our drive into uh, the same text file so i'm going to use the command md5 sum and after that i'm going to uh, use the same path but i'm going to change the path of this image file to my drive file so I simply press enter and it will copy all the hashes into the uh, same uh, txt file so guys as you can see our drive hashes are, have also been stored in the same text file now we are going to verify that the hashes of image file match with the drive uh, hashes or not so we are going to use the command cat and after that we will write here hash dot txt and press enter so as you can see on the first we have our image file hashes which is 66273cc and so on and uh, on the second i have the uh, pen drive uh, hashes which is also 66273cc if the hashes of your forensic image file match with the uh, hashes of the pen drive uh, then it means uh, the file that you have created is 100% correct and you can use it in your lab so viewers that's it for our today's session and in our today's session we have seen how to create an forensic image from the pen drive from hard disk or from anything else uh, method is the same you can simply create a image file to uh, check and to collect uh, evidence from this file so that's it for our today's session and i hope you have learned something valuable from our today's session so if you have learned something valuable so like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos so let's meet in the next session until then take care goodbye